Well, I'm just gonna give you put you on this face mask here. Hmm. I wonder if I should just let his doctor know how he's doing. We like to put them into situations or into scenarios where they can actually practice what they might take care of at the bedside. I might have a patient having some respiratory distress and I build a case scenario that they can then practice how would I care for that patient if he had respiratory distress. Get them to think about how they do their assessment, how they call for the RT support, call a CCOT team, possibly call a code if they need to. He does on that side. I typically have staff in here running simulations about every two weeks or so, whether that's for yearly competency validation purposes or either just for teaching new staff how to deal with situations so that they can practice without having to practice on real people. So you could just click on the 122 on your screen there and then scroll. Oh, that's fantastic. And then that's that will great. change on your laptop. It will change it in the room. It changes on the monitor the, too, I um, see. Sinman room. And I just recently had a tour of the Sim Lab and was shown basically what it was capable of. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Linden from Emerge. Uh, can we get a quick summary and uh, Jane, can you hook them up to the monitor? Today, I had the chance to actually experience it and it was, it was fantastic. I was really impressed by the fidelity, the realism and how really got into the scenario despite the fact that I was treating a mannequin. So it was impressive. Is there a difference? in the field of the two pulses. What's the difference? Well, this one's a bit stronger, the carotid. Okay. Working with the simulator is fantastic. I really enjoy it. We get to integrate all of our book knowledge and some of our clinical skills together and, and get to practice real life situations. And then it kind of builds that, that medical confidence that you need. A simulator is a bit more effective, I think, because you can program it. So when we talk about different murmurs and maybe some diseases that are a bit more rare, we actually get the opportunity to listen to it. We have the equipment that allows us to really magnify those sounds. So we get a really good feel for it. S1 beforehand, we can hear. I've been doing this since I started with end. this other medical program so three years ago, and I think the students walk away with a more intense and really a more profound understanding of what we're talking about. To sit down and to read about this in a textbook and to listen to it on a CD doesn't have the same opportunity to stand with a preceptor who can explain the fine details of those murmurs in a real-time scenario where they can actually hear it and dissect it and understand it. Um, essentially, as you remember from before, I'll be putting the stethoscope in I think they places. walk away actually feeling like they're starting to really put that, uh, that book knowledge into practice and really getting into the clinical aspect of medicine, which is what they all want to do. And that's where they're all going. So it's a really great way to accelerate that process. I just want to say from the control room and being the leader of the simulation, you guys did a great job. Um, at the end of the case scenario, we'll debrief what they could have done better or differently and how it went for them overall and most of the time it's a pretty good experience for all and most leave feeling pretty positive and pumped and hoping actually that this actually happens to them in the real environment so that they can say hey I know what I'm doing. Our next focus in using the simulation center is hopefully to engage more of that multidisciplinary or interprofessional team and see how the different professions bring their expertise to those situations. I know I have benefited from using the simulation center. I have seen the benefits to my staff and to our patients, so I'm really looking forward to now expanding this and having more of the interprofessional team involved. Healthcare isn't just one individual taking care of a patient, it's everybody. And everybody's input is very valuable and teamwork communication is key. Um, he was low on his oxygen stats and then uh, coming in saying he had a joker in the 